welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you a car boot and jumble sale haul. I was not thinking about going to any car boot or jumble sales this weekend on Friday. I wanted a break and needed a break uh, this weekend. I've been chasing my tail for a while. I've had loads of problems recently, some obviously created by myself and other sort of created from outside circumstances. I normally have a lot of problems, it's generally what happens if you've got a business, but sometimes it can wear thin on you and I really did need a break. But anyway, I got wind of these sales and I couldn't not go. I had to just go down there and see what was on offer. And to be honest, I don't think I was in my headspace because on Friday I wanted a break and I was in that headspace of, you know, being in that, that kind of a little bit more lighter mode or holiday mode. Um, I don't think I was kind of prepared to go to these car boots and when and the jumble sale and when it hit me, I wasn't as focused and also I just didn't think the stuff was completely there. You know, there wasn't there wasn't as much stuff coming out as there usually is. But this was a one-off car boot sale, so. It wasn't, you know, these one-off car boot sales are normally hit or miss. But anyway, without further ado, I'll get on with the whole video and show you what I picked up. So, first off, from the jumble sale, most of these were from the jumble sale. I actually only got two items from the car boot today. Uh, one is actually at my lockup because I went to my lockup to fetch out some stuff for my cabinet. Because I'm going to my cabinet tomorrow to see how that's done over the month and obviously fill it up. Um, so yeah, this is a net gear. Um, I think it's a uh, yeah, it's a modem router, not a Wi-Fi extender. I actually have Netgear Wi-Fi extenders, or I've had a couple in the past. Really like them, pretty decent. You know, I don't think they're the best brand you can get, but they're not the worst brand either. Um, so yeah, I saw this, and it was two pound, and I thought, you know what, I'll take a chance on that because I know that some of these Netgear routers specifically are quite high, you know, quite good money new, you know. So uh, yeah, I thought. I'll take a chance on that at two quid. Turns out it's worth about 20, 25 quid pre-owned, so not too bad. Um, but obviously, with that one, I've got to test it and stuff, and I don't even know how to test routers and set them up and stuff. So it might be a bit of a um, hard one to test for me, but hopefully I'll get there. Um, but yeah, still, nice little profit on that one. Um, next, I got this for £2.50. It wouldn't come down any further. Again, jumble sale. Transformers helmet. I don't know whether these have come down in value recently, but I remember you used to be able to get about 20 quid for these. I think they might have come down a little bit though now, maybe only 15 quid, something like that. But still, it was okay from 250. I was umming and ahhing whether to pick it up, you know, at that price, but yeah, I ended up doing so. Um, so that was that one. Um, I got. Again, jumble sale, a rather beat up, well not beat up, just a bit dirty and stuff, not the, not the cleanest of condition. Panasonic RX-FS430, uh, uh, one of these has gone collection only for 10 quid, so I'm thinking with my postage and obviously being able to ship it out, um, should maybe go for 20 quid, 25 quid plus my post on that. But as I say, I've got to get it cleaned up properly, I've not tested it so it doesn't work, obviously I won't be getting 20 or 25. But I was going to take a punt at two quid on that, so... Sorry, that was... Was that? Yeah, that was two quid, this was three quid. It was the same lady, so it was five quid in total, actually, for this and the net gear. Um, so, yeah, that was three quid, but I was going to take a punt on it for that. So, yeah, that's that one. Um, next, from from the car boot sale today, um, Laura Ashley Home, superior quality wall covering, Emperor P Paisley, this is. Don't know whether you can see that there or whether it's going to focus. Emperor Pl Paisley Dove Grey. They've got the same batch numbers, both rolls. These were the first thing I picked up thinking, right, I better get the ball rolling. So I did pay a fiver for both of these rolls, which I was hoping to get them for about three quid, really. But it was a good decision to pay that five pound because I've seen two of these rolls with the same batch number, brand new like this, go for 35 99 plus postage. So five quid into 35 quid, I'm all over that. That's really, really good. Um, so yeah, I, you know, I thought I was paying up, but in the end, I wasn't actually paying up. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, the other item, I don't know whether I mentioned, but it is back up my lockup. I think I did mention that anyway a minute ago. But yeah, it's back up my, back at my lockup. It was a um, Samsung DVD player. I don't know the model number. I paid four quid for it. I thought it's got to be 20 quid. It had its remote with it, but it didn't have instructions or anything or a SCART lead. But I don't know whether you... Do you need a SCART lead for a DVD player, or is it, or is it something another different lead for a DVD player? I know you need a SCART lead for a VHS, I'm not sure about a DVD, it might be a different lead. But anyway, I'm sure 
talking sauce, whatever lead it is. Um, next, I got from the uh, Jumble Sale for £3, a big tub of Playmobil stuff. Well, not a big tub, a little tub. Um, it's got like a little uh, pump station set in there. I think I've had this one before. I got, I, I basically created my own little scene uh, when I had this one before. Uh, with like a couple of cars and stuff like that and there's loads of different pumps and stuff in here uh, there's a bus stop as well there's some sort of um african uh themed bits there there's not much african themed bits or like sahara desert themed i don't even know that's more like native american actually that, with the cactus but yeah there's some sort of set like that in there well part parts of it you know um, there's a random bus, which I think is like early learning centre or something. Hmm, don't even know, but there's like a random little bus. Um, also in there was a Playmobil, um, what's this, like a rescue boat or speed boat or something, or a little speed, um, oh yeah, it's more like a rescue boat, it's not a speed boat. Um, I've got like part of a tractor in there, I don't know whether it's a full tractor, but it is Playmobil. Um, got another few other little bits and bobs of the garage, there's a few more pumps and stuff in there, and then there's a, like loads of other little bits and bobs, you know, cones and like yellow cones and stuff. I'm assuming all of the little bits are Playmobil, but there might be other different, you know, there might be other brands in there as well. Also, there's a couple of these random, oh, that's the uh, fire engine going off. Going off. I don't know what brand it is. I can't see on here. Anyway, I don't know. Um, but, oh god, that's gonna go off forever now, isn't it? Um, and then there's a couple of these little robots in there. I don't even know what they are. But anyway, what I'll do is I'll try and make like a little, put, you know, petrol station set out of that. And uh, that is gonna continue going off for ages. But um, I'm going to make a, like a petrol station set out of that, hopefully get about 15 quid plus commission. And the other stuff, I don't know, I might just wait on it and wait till I've got a bit more Playmobil and add that into other bundles or something, I'm not sure. But I just thought I'd take a punt on that lot for three quid. So it's just going to focus there. Right, go away. Go away, stop, shut up. Oh, thank God, yeah. Woo, done, sorted. So, um, next was, this is, right, this is the reason I should not, Stop! Stop! Oh my, anyway. Right, so this is the reason. I've just realised my mic is all the way over there. I better put it around this side. Might not have even picked up half of what I'm saying there, but anyway. This is the reason. Why does it keep going off? Anyway, right. So. Right, one sec. Right, there we go. It's outside. You might not be able to hear it as much now. Um, so. This is why I shouldn't do clothing. This is a Harris Tweed blazer. You can see it down there, Harris Tweed. Um, and I, I looked all over this. I thought, oh yeah, better check this is in good condition when I was buying it. So I was looking all over it. I was looking at, I pulled this bit up here and I was looking under there, making sure it was, you know, there was no wear. Obviously, I was looking under there. I was looking in here at the lining. And I, was, I thought I was doing a really good job looking at it, making sure it's all alright, because I know I've messed up with clothing uh, in that respect in the past. And I said, how much is it? And she said, a pound. And I took it, got it home, and I gave it to my mum and said, what do you think of that? I had, I had it for a pound, because she knows a bit more about clothing and stuff. And then she says, well, did you see this at the back? Like, straight away, she pointed out that. So I had missed that. And then there's also a hole in it on one of the, there's also a, a fairly decent sized hole in one of the sleeves there. Can you see that where I've got, I don't even know where I'm going because the camera's like, weird, weird angle. But anyway, um, yeah, so there's another little hole there. So it's pretty much not saleable. Um, actually, I could probably have it for myself. It looks like a similar size to me, but, because I don't, I'm not, I'm not anything, you know, I don't care about holes or anything. I'm not like a fashion guy. I will literally wear anything. I I pick things up from charity shops. I pick things up. This this was from a charity shop. I pick things up from a charity shop. I actually like the kind of really worn look, and because it makes because I'm very I like things that are old. I like you know I, I'm very I like things that are lived. So I like getting jackets that are like actually like holes in them and everything because it feels like it's really lived. It's told a story. I know it is very weird, and I am a weird guy in that respect. Um, but I like things like that, 
but obviously it's no good to sell because no one else likes things like that. So yeah, I, if it's my size, and I might keep this actually because it's Harry's Tweed, and that would have cost a lot new anyway. Um, so yeah, Harry's Tweed, but that's why I shouldn't do clothing. I paid a quid, so it's not a complete loss, but yeah, anyway, what am I doing? What am I doing? This is why I don't do clothing. This is why I don't do clothing. But yeah, I still pick it up for some weird reason. But here's a, an actual good find of clothing that I was really happy with. Um, so this is a Patagonia. See on there, Patagonia. And I did check this out on the Real or Fake group. And Heather, the treasure pirate, uh, very kindly commented saying she thinks it's real. And then someone else uh, who does clothing, I think it's Paul Foster, um, said he thinks it's real too, um, so I'm assuming that it's okay, it's all kosher and everything, um, but yeah, so I mean, I don't know why, I, well, there was a little bit of Chinese writing on the back, back of a tag and stuff, and when I've seen that on like Levi's and stuff, and then I've checked into them more, they've been fake, so that's kind of why I thought it might be fake, but yeah, I mean, Patagonia, it's not, I, I wouldn't have thought it would have been fake to that much, it's not like a, it's a, you know, it's a good brand, but it's not like one of those brands that you would think would be fakes. But anyway, I wanted just to check it out, double check it out, because I've had that ban recently on eBay, and I really want to be careful of what I'm putting on there. So anyway, um, Patagonia, going to be about maybe 25, 30 quid, something like that. Uh, nice little shirt here. I don't know what you call this design, maybe like a Czech design or something. Uh, I'm assuming there's another word for it as well, but it's like these larger checked design. Um, yeah, quite a nice little shirt there. Um, I paid 50p, so that covered, like this this one and then the jacket were 150 from the jumble sale all in. So I've got my money back and profit on this one anyway. So one fail and one like success, that's okay. To be, to be honest, in clothing, a 50% success rate is good for me, so I'm, I'm more than happy with that. I'm glad that I at least recouped the money and made a little bit of profit in the end. But yeah, so that was nice. Um, and then finally, I just got a few bits. Well, I got one book for myself, which I won't ramble about because we all know how much I love Doctor Who. But uh, just Doctor Who Ho Whoology. It has like, well, I, I said, oh, no, I'm not going to ramble about it. Let me put that there because I was already go going into Doctor Who ramble mode then. You, you could see in my eyes. So I was just about to ramble about it for 20 minutes. Anyway, so I got a... Uh, what was, I think these were, that one was 150 which I thought was quite high for a jumble sale, but anyway. Um, and then this one, well that one's actually a bit of a fail. I thought this was worth more than it is used on Amazon. And I think at one point it was, I think this was like 20 quid used at one point. Um, but unfortunately it's come right down to a tenner. And also I'm probably not going to send this into Amazon anyway on second thoughts because it's just too rough for me. It's You can see there, it's not... It's a bit rough on the ed edges, and so I don't know how well you're going to pick that up, but it is pretty rough on the edges, and I don't like sending things like that to Amazon, even if I declare that it's in acceptable condition. Amazon customers are just, you know, kind of different to eBay, eBay customers, so I don't like sending anything in like that. So that'll just be going on eBay. I paid 150 for it. Probably just about get my money out of it on eBay, but I'll get my money out of it and move on. Maybe make a quid profit or a couple of quid profit. But anyway, I got this for, I think this was 50p. Yeah, I think this one was 50p. Um, and I got this because I need another David Walliams book for a bundle. I think this one will complete my bundle now of three or four books. And then I can actually get that listed. But I've been trying to find a David Walliams book at the right price for so long just to complete com complete a bundle. I see these everywhere, but normally in charity shops, you price them up at like 149 or two pound, and it's like, I can't pay that for a bundle. But 50p, I'll pay that just about, and I'll make a little bit of profit on that bundle. So yeah, I got that because of a bundle. And that is pretty much everything. It wasn't the best of weekends. Uh, got a few bits here and there. I did get to the jumble sale a little bit later, so that's why I didn't get as good a stuff from there. I saw one of my regular, um, I suppose, regular competition or regular competitors or whatever. He got some good stuff, which, you know, great for him. You know, he got some great stuff and that's all good. Um, but obviously I got there a little bit later and it meant that I didn't get as, as good stuff. That, that's how it goes, you know, each week. 
I like I got those Nerf guns the other week, which I was really happy about. This week I didn't get you know much good stuff. You know, as I say, it swings and roundabouts. So yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. I won't ramble any longer. If you enjoyed the video, please do like it down below. I hope that that audio's come out okay because my mic was turned round for half the video. I'll leave it there, and I will see you in the next video, guys. So see you very soon.